Breaking news that the U.S. cities are warned over water supply being tainted with brain-eating microbe. As thousands are ordered not to use water, a six-year-old boy in Texas died. Her six-year-old son, Josiah Christopher McIntyre, died from an amoeba in his brain. Maria first noticed the symptoms on a Thursday when her son complained of a headache. It got worse. It states initial symptoms which start within the first week of infection include headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, stiff neck. Later symptoms include confusion, loss of balance, seizures, and hallucinations. Death typically occurs within 12 days. Kids get sick. It's normal. Kids vomit. Kids, you know, run a fever. Exactly. Kids get sick. So how are you supposed to know that it's something severe? I guess from now on, every time your kid gets sick, you have to bring him to the doctors just in case. Doctors thought it might be meningitis or encephalitis. They could not relieve the swelling no matter what they did. And then they discovered the cause, an amoeba. Her son was not in a lake or pond or creek. He played at a splash pad. That was it. That's the thing, this brain-eating amoeba occurs naturally in fresh water and is found around the world. And it usually infects people and contaminated water enters the body through the nose and then travels to the brain. Amoeba found in soil kills gardener turns his brain into mushy liquid. Stasis' 82-year-old man is believed to have contracted the shape-shifting organism while plotting plants at an unnamed location and was later struck by seizures according to the case study. The man was first treated for bacterial, fungal, and viral meningitis before becoming drowsy and suffering seizures and said that he died nine days later after being admitted to a hospital. An autopsy revealed an amoeba had turned parts of the man's dark matter into a mushy, watery debris. But she tells parents to be cautious. Look for flu-like symptoms which she says she knows is difficult. She hopes one day to know exactly how her precious child caught an incurable killer. It states the right treatment isn't clear. A number of drugs kill amoebas in the test tube, but even when treated with these drugs, very few patients survive. Some research, and it turns out that this amoeba can actually be in any water supply, any water park, pool, lake, any warm water system. It just depends if they actually treat it and disinfect and kill this bacteria in the water. And if they don't treat it, that it can actually grow and it's in key, like like hot environments it like breathes so the hotter it gets the more that this bacteria is going to grow so they need to treat the water system and get rid of it and i guess unfortunately in texas they didn't treat the water system or something happened and it ended up growing and like i said this can actually happen anywhere you could get this from a water park from water going up in your nose at a pool anywhere so be very cautious of going swimming and if you do go swimming and you end up getting like you know no like water up your nose or anything like that just be aware of your symptoms within the next couple of days. And if you do feel symptoms, go to the doctors right away because the chances are if you end up going sooner and getting treatment, uh, it will end up probably, you know, dealing with the bacteria rather than later. You know, the, 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 the later, the worse it's going to get, the more it infects you. So that's just my my opinion on it. I just did some research on it. I just wanted to share that with all of you. And my my heart, my prayers go to the family and everybody else that's being affected by uh, the, the brain-eating amoeba in Texas and everything. This is just horrible. Um, the, you know, they should have did, like, a major announcement. They should have, like, did a text announcement. They should have been, like, you know how they have, like, the warning announcements where, like, you see in movies where it's like you're watching tv or on the radio and it's just like boop, like you know like the siren and it's just like uh this is a uh, an emergency announcement they should have done that with the water supply because it is serious uh you know thousands of people if not tens of hundreds of thousands of people could drink the water and end up getting affected so uh yeah that's just just my thoughts on the opinions is on that is that they just need to create better systems to let people know uh, of warnings and dangers Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Please share this video so people are aware of this, as well as click that subscribe button for more. Thanks for watching, everyone. Click that like button. Stay safe, and God bless you all.